guys welcome back to world's illuminate 11 i hope you're all having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here if you are looking to have a personal reading done or a one-on-one -on -one session the divine feminine regain your power sessions you can contact me via my email which is in the description box below so today we are going to do a video for the divine feminine to see what the divine feminine is currently learning on your twin flame journey and obviously as divine feminines we are continuously learning you know the learning never stops it's the same for the divine masculines you know and everything that you go through in your day-to-day -day life you know as a divine feminine i'm just saying divine feminine because the video is for the divine feminines everything that you are going through in your life is really part of your twin flame journey it's all teaching you something you know even if you have a certain experience with somebody on the street Street or you know uh, with your family member it's all part of your journey it's teaching you something that you need to know to help you to be able to move forward as a divine feminine on the twin flame journey and also for the life that is also coming in for you with your divine masculine so everything is part of the lessons that you're learning to help you to keep growing within yourself to help you on your journey as a divine feminine on you know uh, in in your life so what we are going to check today is uh, uh, what are the divine feminine learning sort of currently learning when it comes to your twin flame journey so we are bringing in four decks and we're going to see what messages are coming through so we're starting with breaking out of the matrix so thank you angels currently for the divine feminines what is the divine feminine learning when it comes to their twin flame journey what is the divine feminine currently learning thank you angels what is the divine feminine currently learning what is the divine feminine currently learning so good those cards will bring in the divine feminine illumination deck as well thank you angels what is the divine feminine currently learning when it comes to their twin flame journey what is the divine feminine currently learning the divine feminine message is tarot thank you angels what is the divine feminine currently learning what is the divine feminine currently learning and also the divine timing deck so thank you angels what is the divine feminine currently learning on their journey what is the divine feminine currently learning? I was trying to come out. What is the divine feminine currently learning? Okay, so let's see the cards that have come out. So the cards that came out from the um, breaking out of the matrix, be patient a little longer. So you're learning patience and, you know, and, you know, you may feel that, oh, I've been patient for so long on this journey, but be patient a little longer. Everything that you're learning, everything that is happening is actually teaching you to be patient even more. Even if you've been patient for so long, you are still learning to be patient even more. That's the message that's coming through. Be patient a little longer as parts of the bigger plan need to fall into place. So the right doors of opportunity present at the exact right time. And it's really powerful that this card has come out because um, the message that I did from the angels today was talking about blessings in disguise, you know, so whatever it is that is going on, why you're being asked to be patient a little longer on your journey, why you're learning patience to uh, even more on your journey is because there are other things that need to fall into place first for everything to then come into your life, you know, for your the twin flame journey to move forward, for your divine masculine to contact you or for that union to come in. So the message coming through is that there are parts of a bigger plan that need to fall into place so that the right doors of opportunity present themselves at the exact right time and everything will fall into place in the most magical way at the right time for you which is the message that was coming through in that uh, short reading that i did do check that out if you haven't seen it so you are learning to be more patient and you know and you're continuously learning to be more patient and it's all you know things are still falling into place when it comes to your journey but in that that is what you're learning to be even more patient so it's all part of your journey to continue to learn to be even more patient to be patient to the point that you know you just have faith you just trust that at the right at the exact right time it will all come in so that's the first message about what the divine feminine is learning right now on your journey to be patient to be a bit pa more patient and to be patient a little longer so that's the message that's coming through the next card that has come out is the law of attraction is strong for you at this time. 
choose your thoughts, words, and actions wisely. So you're also learning that you are working with the law of attraction as a divine feminine. And the law of attraction is really about what you give out is what you get back. You attract what you are thinking, the words that you're speaking, the thoughts that are coming, that you're thinking, and the actions that you're taking as well in your life. So the more you're thinking those positive thoughts, the more you're attracting what you are desiring. And you're still learning this. That's the message that's coming through. Because, you know, when you are thinking negative thoughts, you are actually attracting that. When you are having the fears of that things are not going to happen, you know, you are actually attracting that into your life. So you are still learning as a divine feminine to really focus on staying in that place of positivity when it comes to your thoughts, when it comes to your words, when it comes to the actions that you're taking as well in your life. And this is about everything. It's not just about your twin flame journey. It's also in relation to all other areas of your life. So, you know, that and you're being shown, you're also learning that especially the more you are awakening and moving forward on your path you know you're understanding the journey more you're understanding the law of attraction more and you know and it becomes stronger you know what you think it's like you know you start to manifest things certain things instantly just happen you sometimes you realize and this happens to me i sort of think of something and then it suddenly appears so you are getting stronger as well as you're moving forward on your path in when it comes to that manifestation so the more you are in this place or you, you know where you are being patient when it comes to your twin flame journey you're actually also still learning to keep your thoughts positive to keep your words the words that you speak positive and the actions that you take positive as well because it is actually helping you through this time of patience is actually helping you to really change the way that you are thinking so that you know you can catch yourself when the negative thoughts come in and you can turn them around to positive thoughts you can really work on observing what is going on with you so that you stay on that sort of line of positivity that attracts and brings in all the things that you desire so really powerful as well that that has come out and the last card that came out from this deck you have a direct line to intuition intuitive clarity and spiritual guidance the more in tune you are the more inclined you are to make wiser choices for yourself so what you're also learning is to tune in to that spiritual guidance that comes in the guidance that comes in from the angels and to your intuition as well to your intuitive clarity so you as you as a divine feminine it currently you are learning to tune in more to that guidance that helps you to move forward on your path you know sometimes the guidance comes in and then the fears come in and you know and you sort of let go of the things that you're being guided to do because the fears come in so you are learning to release those fears and you're learning to trust your intuition as well to really trust your intuition and so that you can make the right decisions and you know the wiser choices for yourself to be able to move forward on your path so during this time and currently as a divine feminine you are really learning to tune in to that guidance that comes in. You know, sometimes as a divine feminine, you may think, oh, I, and this is certainly happens to me. I'm, I'm like, I'm not really getting the guidance, you know, and then I think about it and I'm like, actually, I am getting guided when it comes to so many things. And I, it's about, you know, really sort of tuning in as a divine feminine. And you are learning this right now, tuning into that guidance, knowing when the messages are coming in, quietening your outside world, quietening the mind as well you know because the mind can bring in all sorts of fears and really tapping into that intuition really tapping into the guidance that comes in from the angels and not sort of getting scared and thinking that could this be my intuition could this just be you know the ego bringing in certain certain things and really sort of becoming so tuned into your guidance that you just move forward and do the things that you are being guided to do so you are currently learning to tune into your spiritual guidance the messages that come from the universe from the angels from your spirit guides and to really sort of tune into your intuition and so that you can move forward as well on your path so really powerful that that has come out and also know that you have that direct line to that guidance and to your intuition so it's about really sort of you know you are learning right now to really tune into that so that you can be able to move forward and do the things that you are being guided to do okay and then the cards that came out from um the divine feminine 
um, message tarot. So the first card that has come out is the Six of Swords. I am moving into easier times. I feel peaceful and calm. So you are also learning to get into the place of having that inner peace, to get into the place of having that calm within. Because, you know, I'm sure a lot of us Divine Feminines will agree with this. We've been in places on this journey where there's been so much going on. There is no peace in your mind. You have sleepless nights. You, you know, you are, you can hardly eat and all these things. That's because of all that fear, all those things going on in your mind and you know and it just displaces you from who you truly are and from life itself and it's right now as a divine feminine you are currently learning to move into easier times to move into a place of having that inner peace and having that calm and that's by you doing certain things in your own life that help you to have all that peace and 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 the calm within meditating going out in nature uh, you know being creative whatever it is the things that help you to find that inner peace so you're currently learning that and you may find that you know you may have some peace and calm you know in in your life and then or within and then you know something happens you hear something about your divine masculine and you get all over the place again you know the fear starts coming in so you are still learning to really get into the place of having that peace and calm where whatever they do in the outside world or whatever other people do in the outside world, whatever things are going on in the outside world, they don't affect that peace and that calm that you have within. So you are learning this right now so that, you know, whatever happens out there really doesn't affect your peace and calm. You just continue to be in the place of peace. Obviously, you know, you will see the things that are going on and, you know, you you deal with the things that are going on but it doesn't take away that peace and calm within so that's what you're also learning to get into that place within yourself where you have that peace and the calm so that's the message that's coming through and then the next card that has come out is the nine of uh, of cups and this is about giving out your wishes your desires to the universe and learning to believe in miracles so you're also learning to believe in miracles. You know, you see the miracles that are happening around you, the big miracles, the small miracles. And, you know, and you are getting, learning to become, to get into the place of really believing in miracles. Because the more you believe in miracles, the more, more miracles come into your life. And, you know, and this is something that I am really experiencing as well. And I'm sure a lot of divine feminines do, you know, experience this whereby, you know, the more you are believing, the more you see so many, things uh, other things just happening in your life you know that you just like wow this is amazing because you know you are believing so you are also learning to be in the place of believing that's about believing that's about having faith that's about really releasing the doubt you know, so you're learning to release the doubt and really get into the place of believing, of trusting and of having faith. So that's the next message that's come out. The next card that has come out is the fool has also come out and is I am embracing the life of my dreams. So you're also learning to embrace the life that you tr you desire to have for yourself. You know, no matter what may be going on with your divine masculine, even if they haven't moved forward towards you or communicated with you, you are learning to embrace your life in this present moment because this is the life that you're living as a divine feminine. This is your life and they will come in at the right time and, you know, and you have your beautiful life together. But right now you're learning to embrace the life of your dream in this present moment and to also know that the dreams that you have of a life together are also coming in so you become you get into this place of embracing this life that you desire and believing in miracles and just living your life in joy and you know and that's what you are learning and we all go through stages when it comes to this to really get into the place of embracing this life you know the life that you're currently living without your divine masculine in the physical because you're always together you know there is no separation but without them in the physical it's about embracing that life and living your life 
and loving your life so currently you are learning to embrace this life that you're living right now and also the life that is coming in for you but know that that is coming in you know it is going to come in at the right time but right now the life that you're living is now so it's about embracing this life that you're living that's the message that's coming through and then believing in miracles to bring in the life that you truly desire and the last cards that came out as well is the ace of cups i am ready for a new relationship relationship with you. So you're also learning within yourself that, you know, you're ready for this new relationship with your divine masculine. You know, you've been through a lot and you've been learning a lot. You're continuously learning and, you know, and you're also diving deeper into yourself and knowing within yourself that you are ready for this relationship with your divine masculine. So, you know, you may have been at a time where you realize that you were not quite there yet within yourself and being honest with yourself as a divine feminine and to realize that there's still things that you are still needing to work on within yourself or you may still be in that place where you are thinking uh, you know if my divine masculine turned up right now there are still things that i still need to work on you know so you may be in that place right now and that is okay it's all part of the journey but you know you are on that journey to getting to that place where you are ready for that new relationship to come in with your divine masculine so you are on this journey you know so you may be in the place within yourself where you're like i am ready for this relationship now you know i i am there or you are still getting there so this is something that you are learning as well you know learning to release the things that need to go the things that have been in the way within yourself of you being ready for that relationship because we all have things that need to go. We all have things that we need to work on to get to the place where we are ready. So you are on this place of learning as well as a divine feminine to get to the place where you are ready for this relationship. So you may be there or you may still be on your way there. So powerful as well that that has come out. Okay, and the other cards that came out from the Divine Feminine Illumination deck. So we've got Inner Child. And it says, as I heal my inner child, I honor and connect with him more or him more, which helps me to understand myself better and also bring out the need for play, innocence and childhood wonder in me. So you are also learning to connect more to your inner child. The more you connect to your inner child, the more it brings out that, you know, that fun and the need for play and you know, that innocence as well within you. And, you know, and that childhood wonder that just makes you live your life in joy and, you know, believing in miracles, just, you know, letting go of all those things and the limiting beliefs and the things that have held you back. So, you know, you are learning to connect more to your inner child, your healing as well, your inner child, and that is helping you to connect to your inner child more. And that's about having fun in life, you know, doing the things that you love, living your life, enjoying your life, embracing this beautiful life that you have in this present moment. You're also learning about receiving. And it says, understanding that life is all about give and take and that the universe is always working to give me all that I desire as long as it is for my highest good. I am giving to others and also opening my arms to receive all that is meant for me. I am balancing giving and receiving. So as a divine feminine, you're also learning to balance that giving and receiving. You may have been, uh, you know, I certainly was like that where you are just giving and giving, you know, and not really taking in much or being open to receiving much. Or you may just have been, you know, just giving so much and, you know, where other people are just taking from you and you're not receiving. So you are also learning to balance that, you know, and you learn that by giving to yourself as well. And so that's what you are also learning on this journey. And you're also learning that the universe is there to give you all that you desire, but you also have to be to open your arms to receive. So you are learning to balance that giving and receiving as well. And the last card that came out is choice. And it says, as a result of learning that my thoughts create my reality, I am consciously making the choice to let go of negative thoughts so to bring more positivity into my life. So you're realizing and you're learning that it is your choice when it comes to, you know, the things that you choose to a feed when it comes to the thoughts that you are having and the things that are going on in your life, the things that you are doing in your life, the people that you have around you, you know, you are, it is all down to your choice. You know, it's your choice to walk away from negative people, negative situations, 
it's your choice to turn those negative thoughts around to positive thoughts so you know you are in this place right now where you are learning to really focus on positivity this has come out again about positive thinking so you that's a big one you are really learning this as a divine feminine and sometimes you may find yourself you know thinking negative thoughts but this is about you really learning that's what you're currently learning to really learn to stand more in the place of positivity to release the negative thoughts that come in the doubts the fears and to really stand in the place of positivity so you are learning this as a divine feminine i am choosing positive thinking so that's also about observing what is going on with you those thoughts when they come in and really change them around and you know and and make them positive thoughts okay so the last deck that came out so the first message that came out is let go of fear thoughts become things so again that's the same message so you're learning to let go of fear to realize that whatever fearful thoughts you're thinking because you're constantly creating every second you are thinking and you're sending that out to the universe the universe just absorbs the things that you are sending out so every thought that you're thinking is creating something you know your thoughts become things so it's creating things in your life. So you are learning right now to really stay in the place of, you know, letting go of the fears because the fears are the ones that create the things that you don't desire. When you're focused on lack, the things that are not there, my divine masculine is not there. You know, you are creating more of that. So you're really working on letting go of the, of the thoughts of fear or fearful thoughts so that you focus on the positivity the more you are thinking positive thoughts you are creating more of that for your life so another message about that positive thinking so that's a big one that you're learning as a divine feminine the next card that has come out is 12 12 preparation so you're also learning that right now you are going through this time of preparation for the life that you are to live with your divine masculine for the life that you are to do you know the things that you're to do as part of your mission you're going through through a time of preparation you're going through a time of preparation when it comes to your ascension you're going through a time of preparation for the golden age that is coming in you're going through a time of preparation too so that you can just really be operating from the place of unconditional love so you're also learning that everything that is happening during this time that you're being patient the things that are going on it's all part of the preparation to help you to get to where you're truly meant to be Okay, and then the next card that has come out is your dreams are manifesting. So you're also learning that your dreams are manifesting. You may be seeing seven, the number seven or uh, seven, seven, seven. You know, you're being shown that your dreams are manifesting. So, you know, you are learning that as well, that, you know... Uh, whilst you may not be seeing anything just yet it is all coming in it is all manifesting so it comes in perfectly at, at the right time for you so you know that your dreams are manifesting and you're also learning this and that's what helps you to be patient as well because you get into the place of having faith that they are manifesting and they will all come in at the right time and you're also learning to not give up you know, you're learning to not give up on your dreams because, you know, those dreams, know that those dreams that you have, those things that come from the heart, that love that you have that is in your heart, those were planted in there for you by the creator. And it's about you not giving up on those dreams because they're coming from deep within the heart. So, you know, don't give up is something that you're learning. You may have got to a place on your twin flame journey where you thought to yourself, I'm just giving up, nothing is going on. But you're also now, you are also currently learning to not give up or you may be in the place where you're thinking oh it's taking so long you know and wanting to give up but you're actually currently learning to not give up because this is a true heart's desire okay and then the next one that we have is you are a magnet what you give out you get back so again that same message what you give out in your thoughts in your words in your actions that's what you get back so you are really learning this to understand you know to observe yourself and really understand on a day-to-day -day basis that the thoughts that you're thinking they are bringing in the things that you are thinking whether they are positive things or negative things it is or you are creating that you are a magnet and you know what you give out you get back but also you know you're creating your life from the thoughts that you're thinking so it's about you you are currently learning this and that is also helping you to really change within yourself to really observe the things that are going on with you so that you can give out only the things that you're wanting 
wanting to bring into your life really powerful okay and the last one you are learning to trust in divine timing you are learning as a divine feminine that nothing is in comes in in the time that you want them to the things to come in you know your twin flame journey uh, any other area of your life it is all in divine timing because as i was saying in the video before with the messages from the angels there is a bigger picture part of the bigger plan that is seen by the whole of heaven and it's about you trusting in divine timing and trusting in divine timing is really about also having faith in the creator having faith and releasing the doubts and the fears and really just being in a place of trust. So, you know, and it does take time for the divine feminine, you know, and you're constantly currently, you're constantly learning this because it takes time for you to really get into the place of total trust where you just live your life, embracing this life that you're living in the present moment in joy and, you know, and just knowing that it's going to come in whenever it's meant to come in. So you are currently learning to trust in divine timing. So those are the messages that are coming through. I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.